Hello, and thank you for joining me on another episode of The Average EV. Today, we are gonna be checking out a portable charger for uh, my EV from Vivor. This is a 24 amp uh, charger, works with a uh, NEMA 1030 outlet, and we're basically gonna see how different amperages affect charging time. Um, what's really cool about this charger that I'm gonna go over um, later is that it can change amperages. So I can actually, depending upon my needs, I can adjust um, how fast it is going to charge. Will I probably just leave it at 24 amps most of the time? Yes, but could I change it? I absolutely could. So let's dig into it. All right, so basically after another video, I was talking about chargers and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna get one to test out. I was trying to find one that was a little bit economical, but was safe and uh, had a decent charge rate. So I, I landed upon this one. Now this one, uh, the NEMA, uh, it's a NEMA 1030 and it work, it's by Vivor, uh, but it only works in, you know, a traditional dryer outlet. But I figured most people who buy an EV who don't have anything out to their house yet might have a dryer outlet and may be able to at least run a line. It might be expensive, but not as expensive as having, um, you know, electric work done or having your uh, electric panel um, expanded or changed or whatever you need to do to have a level two charger installed. Uh, so I bought it and I tested it out and kind of these are my impressions. So first off, overall, I mean, the the quality kind of speaks to the price as far as the feel. The handle to me feels um, a little bit cheap. It's also like a little bit shorter, um, I believe in the handle than uh, most EV chargers. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter, but I definitely noticed that it was um, not the same as my old charger, uh, which was my Max Green, that um, had a much much better feel to it. The cable is, is pretty thick and durable, um, and I think a little bit overrated for the work that it's doing, so that's good in a way. Um, it's definitely a little bit stiffer than my last charger, but absolutely workable, um, especially if you're using it inside in a garage to be fine. And um, I imagine outside, it might be a little bit more stiff. I'll have to uh, try that out and report back to you all. But that's kind of my uh, general impressions about kind of the quality. Uh, what's really cool about this unit is it actually, on the box, it actually has an LCD screen and it shows you a lot of information. Uh, so it charges you charge speed, amperage, voltage, you can adjust the amperage, it shows you how long you've been charging, it shows how many kilowatt hours you've put into your vehicle, so it's super, super helpful and informative. And if you wanted to uh, super nerd out, you could start um, recording, you know, how many kilowatt hours you put in and how much money you're spending on charging at home. So uh, I think it's a really nice unit for the price. I think it was just above $200, um, but yeah, great unit. Uh, definitely worth checking out if um, you all are looking for something and you have a, a, a NEMA 1030 outlet that you could plug into. All right, everybody, we're here inside my car. Um, this is the charging information that it's kind of given with the Kona. So you can see with the DC charger, says it'll take about 30 minutes. AC at 240 volts. Um, and I believe that's at the full amperage. So that would be 7.2 kilowatts. Um, it would take two hours for my car to charge. And then if I did the AC slow charger, it'd take about 10 hours and 10 minutes. Now, I just got home from work. Sometimes I get home a little later. If I plugged it in right now with a level one, would it be charged by the time I need to leave? It would be, but it's not super efficient. And with my wife about to get an EV, uh, it's just not going to work for our lifestyle if we're constantly having to to trade in and out um, the with the only having a slow charger. So that's why level two is a necessity. So what I want to do here is kind of show you um, the different levels of uh, level two with different amperages to show how it affects the time for charging my car. Again, I'm at 64%. Um, it might go up a little bit uh, as we plug in, but it probably shouldn't go up too much. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so I plugged in, uh, this is at the 10 amps, 64% save charge, 2.3 kilowatts is the charging speed. And it says it's gonna take five hours 
and 50 minutes. And honestly, for me, that's not too bad. That's more than good enough, um, but obviously faster is better. So let's check it out with the next amperage up. All right, so now we're at 16 amps and I'm waiting 3.7 kilowatts. And this is the same speed as my old charger. Please ignore the tire pressure light. I've been dealing with that all day. Um, so yeah, there it is. It's a little fuzzy. There it is, 3.6. And it's gonna take three and a half hours. So that shaved about two or so hours off my charge time, which obviously is super beneficial. All right, here we are, 20 amps, and I'm getting 4.7 kilowatts going in. And now the charge time is two hours and 45 minutes which is great. I'd be able to plug in, unplug, and let my wife plug in. But this uh, charger that I got goes up to 24 amps, so we're gonna see how fast that would be after one day of commuting for me. All right, and here is the last one. Um, five point, oh, this is 24 amps and getting 5.6 kilowatts, and it's gonna be done in two hours and 15 minutes. So every day, come home, plug in for two hours and 15 minutes, and I'm good to go and move about my life uh, with charging. All right, everybody. So um, after testing the unit out, it, it charges great. I love that it shows the kilowatt hours. Um, I, I really have no complaints about it. Um, now, while it changes amperages, I'll probably never actually use that feature. Um, it's fun to play around with just because of just seeing how the, you know, adjusting the amperage adjusts the charge speed. Uh, but yeah, I'm probably never going to do that. I'll stick to the 24 amps and get that, um, you know, 5.7, 5.8 kilowatt hour, uh, sorry, kilowatt, not kilowatt hour, charging speed. I think that this Vivor charger is a great charger. I see they have some other products, so it might be worth getting them for getting a, uh, an affordable um, product to uh, kind of fill your maybe level one charging needs. If you just need a level one, I think they have one for like a hundred bucks. Or if you have a level two uh, need uh, it, and you have the dryer outlet, it would work really, really great um, for you. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to give a like and a subscribe. Every time you give a like and a subscribe, it helps me gain traction and would help bring you all better content. So again, hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you all next time.